hello guys good morning welcome back to our channel so today in this video we'll be talking about interview experience with tcs and this video was contributed by one of our subscriber friend and this video will definitely help uh, people who are who are having interview with tcs like who are a bit confused like what topics to brush up before taking up an interview with tcs or like to know like what kind of questions are being asked at tcs so firstly let us have a look at the email from our subscriber friend my interview experience with tcs Hello, this is Narendra having 5.3 years of experience. I recently came across your channel and it is really helpful. Even I would like to add something here. Before, below is my interview experience with TCS. Three technical rounds were conducted through teams. One manager round and one HR round. Uh, just lasted for a couple of minutes. Okay, the HR round was just lasted for a couple of minutes. Was offered a package of 18 lakhs per annum. Didn't join as I had some other good offer. So basically this is for the 5.3 years of candidate. The salary offer was 18 lakhs per annum. There were completely five rounds we can say like three were technical rounds, one manager and one HR round. So this is about the interview process with Tata TCS. So coming to the questions, here are the questions like this is how we got the mail from spring stack. Like basically spring interview questions or spring boot interview questions these were the questions asked different ways to handle exceptions in spring mvc explain in deep like in deep discussion on dependency injection like how the dependency injection happen what, what are the different ways we can do that what is ioc these all questions might have been asked there. explain benefits of spring mvc over other mvc framework so i have to list down all the MVC, uh, advantages that we get using spring mvc here what is view resolvable pattern and how does it work so i have to explain on this and one more thing like uh, the top four questions i believe are from spring mvc so if you haven't uh, worked on this uh, like it is, there are chances that you may not encounter this because the candidate was having experience on spring mvc so the he uh, he was asked on these questions then the next question is what is scope in reference to spring bin so basically you have to explain about the scope concept here so what are the different scopes that are available like what are the different scope can be at applied on the bean what is the root application context in spring mvc how it is loaded has to explain the entire process here explain how an incoming request map to controller and map to a method difference between a direct request param and path variable explain the process of creating spring boot application using maven in deep discussion on different annotations that I have worked. So basically, these are the questions that were from. Uh, we are not aware like on which from which round these were asked, but uh, the questions were segregated like spring. So under the spring section, so basically these were the questions that were covered as part of spring and as well as spring MVC or you can say spring boot interview questions as well. So please brush up at the entire spring framework. I would say like spring spring MVC or spring boot once if at all you are applying for a job at TCS want to grow in your role and earn a salary of 1 crore by the end of 5 years and here is the golden opportunity for all those guys there are couple of ways to do this one is geographically shifting to another country and start earning there which we basically call onset or we can join a product based company which is in the growth phase I'll explain you why a product based company that is there in the growth phase with the potential to grow is constantly looking to hire new team members and that can contribute and scale business overnight the growth and success of the country company determine the growth in responsibility and such companies and such project based companies heavily compensate their employees for their contribute to their success now the biggest question is how can we apply for those companies there are couple of options here like we can apply through Nokri, LinkedIn or we can have a referral program we can have a some like maybe we are having someone there and we are asking them to refer but biggest challenge here is uh, the, this type of companies which are there in their growth phase usually hire from tier 1 colleges and many of us lack uh, a degree from tier 1 college so how to apply for those companies so here is the platform that comes to our rescue the platform that we are talking about from the last couple of months that is available by an academy to apply for this this type of product based companies through Rayable, simply register for one of the tests on front end or back end. You can use my coupon, co coupon code to get 10% extra discount on the registration fee. Once you qualify for the test, you will, you will get a beautiful profile created which companies will refer to and reach out to you for the interviews. 
and based upon your interest you can apply for either business development test front end development test or back end development test and once you click on the view jobs based upon your interest if you are a back end developer just click on the details so these are the product based companies which are in the growth phase and which can pay you more than 1 crore in next 5 years you can see the already the packages what they are sharing like cred is having 38 razor pay 24 1mg 30 so earning a 1 crore salary is not an unreachable goal now many people with the passion and drive have already achieved similar success take your first step today so this is, don't miss this golden opportunity apply register take the test crack the interview the next section of questions are from Java, like we can say Java interview questions that were asked as TCS. Explain about the memory management, like how the classes are created, how the like basically how the objects are maintained. Explain about solid principles and where have you applied in your application. So this is one of the mandatory interview questions, as we have said in many videos that we have to have a good uh, grip on solid principles and also have to explain like in it what all places you have applied it in your application explain about internal working out concurrent hash map so basically concurrent hash map works differently than hash map it has segments so i have to explain that lot of questions asked on multi-threading framework so yes there are few announcements in java 8 uh comparat uh future comparable uh, interface I think uh, that got introduced a lot of people are asking questions on that so you have to brush up that as well few programming questions based on stream streams will send a separate mail so basically the coding questions were not shared uh, he said me that he they he will send in a separate mail. maybe there are big questions here because uh, when uh, like my personal experience with TCS there were approximately four coding rounds for me uh, that uh, that that was also shared on this channel so maybe he, when he was asked to write a lot of code asked to write a program and create singleton class lot lot of questions on it as well like basically uh, there are few uh, ways to break a singleton question so singleton pattern design pattern so maybe the questions were on that like how can we protect against that thing asked to write a program and create immutable class lot of questions had on it as well so basically we have to create uh, an immutable class and if there are any add-on questions on it it would it would be base basically based on the cloning if there are reference variable how would you clone the object difference between string string buffer and string builder so this is a basic question i believe like what is the difference between string string buffer and string builder so these were the questions that were asked from the java at tcs so basically you can say java interview questions that were asked at tcs you can go through this uh, you can halt a video and you can go through these questions as well so coming to the next section of questions those are from hibernate stack so these are the questions the very few questions i would say so difference between jdbc and hibernate so if you have hands-on experience or if you have mentioned that you know hibernate only then these questions would be asked just for information because a lot of people comment said oh, i don't have experience on hibernate will they ask me no 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 it's not like that for an experienced candidate 99.9% .9 they will ask questions only if you have hands-on experience on that so if you don't have hands-on experience they won't ask you the question there are one person still there are one person's chances that people might ask you so these are the questions difference between JDBC and Hibernate asked to explain about Hibernate architecture how to deal with database deadlock situation explain on first level and second level cache explain about database sharding questions on how to one to one many to many mappings work maybe questions on how to like one to one and many to many mappings basically how we configure that thing so these were the questions from hibernate stack so if you have hands-on experience you can brush up on these type of questions before taking up an interview so in the next section we will be talking about the questions from web services stack so what is the difference between http and https advantages of microservices over monolithic like other means i believe monolithic only so what all ex uh, advantages we get using microservices like while converting the application from monolithic to application and basically there might be a counter question as well like explain about the design advantages as well what all things do you consider before creating a microservice application so basically uh, we are planning to have a different video on this question so that is in the 
queue that will be posted very soon there are a set of things that we need to consider before creating a microservice application so in that video we will share it in deep what is the best way to communicate between different services it's differently depends upon the project architecture you can use rest template you can use free client you can use web client what is the best way to manage transaction when multiple service calls are involved so again this depends upon your requirement about your application like uh, where your application actually serves so that based on that uh, this will be taken into consideration like how to manage the transactions yeah. ask me to design a sample application like amazon just wanted to see my approach okay so maybe uh, what i can say what we can say like uh, approach based question we can say how what is the approach towards the solution whenever we face a challenge so based upon your approach uh, this plays a crucial role in your selections as well so few questions on how to handle exceptions in microservices there are different ways to handle again it, uh, it, it depends upon your application architecture how to handle the exceptions so these were the questions uh, like technical questions those were encountered in the three rounds so in the next section it would be the questions from manager round so these are very interesting manager round questions uh, that that you can encounter in any of your interviews how do you keep yourself updated about the new trends in the techno in the industry or in the <coughs> technology side what all few things get that are getting updated so you have to prepare uh, in well in advance of how to answer these questions what's the b most recent thing that you have learnt so you can say from any technical side you can say like i have learned so and so technology i am trying i am trying to work on that thing give an example of a project you have worked on and the technologies involved how did you make the choices so basically it depends again on lot of things you have to work with architecture guys to finalize the technologies here the next question is what all design patterns are you aware of so have to answer about all the design patterns that i you are aware of so it is always best to prepare on this type of questions like on design patterns basically this is a technical question i would say but was asked in manager round what's the programming challenge you have came across recently so i have to that again depends upon the individual list some common ways to reduce the load time of a web application this is absolutely related to technical side like what all things we do to re reduce the load time of a web application usually at the ui site so uh, if you are a full stack developer you should be aware of this even though this he, he was a back end developer it was asked to him so these were the questions from manager round here you can see, have a look at the complete email that we have received hello this is narendra having 5.3 years of experience i have recently came across your channel and it is really helpful even i would like to add something here below is my interview experience with tcs three technical rounds were conducted through teams one manager round and one hr round just added lasted for a couple of minutes was offered a package of 118.18 lakhs per annum didn't join as i have some other good offer below are the questions from spring stack different way to handle exceptions in spring mvc in deep discussion on dependency injection explain different benefits of spring mvc over other mvc framework what is view resolver pattern what is the scope in reference to spring bean what is the root application context in spring mvc how it is loaded explain how an incoming request map to a controller and map to a method difference between request param and path path variable explain the process of creating spring boot application using maven in deep discussion on different annotations that i have worked from java stack explain about memory management explain about solid principle and where have you applied in your application explain about the internal working of concurrent hash map lot of questions asked on multi threading framework few questions few programming questions based on streams like java 8 streams here will send an email separate ask to write a program on singleton and immutable difference between string string buffer and string builder from hibernate framework there were the, the questions were from the difference between jdbc and hibernate explain asked to explain about hibernate architecture how to deal with database deadlock situation questions on first level and second level cache explain about database sharding questions on how to one to one mapping like the basically the questions on one to one and one, many to many mappings from web services so what is the difference between http and https the advantages of microservices over other what all things do you consider before creating a microservice application 
what is the best way to communicate between different services best way to manage transaction when multiple services are involved design a sample application like amazon few questions on how to handle exceptions in microservices from manager round how do you keep yourself updated about the new trends in the technology what is what's the most recent thing that you have done give an example of a project you have worked on and the technologies involved how did you make the choices what are design patterns are you aware of what is the programming challenge you have came across recently list some common ways to reduce load time of an application please hide my hide my email regards narendra please hide my identity so this was the mail that we have received this was a very long mail to be honest and if you are on our channel for the first time and wondering who are we and what we do so basically we are a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews and share our real time interview experiences through these videos and apart from that we have, we also share our interview experience of the subscriber friends who share their interview experience with us so that we share it on our channel so that lot of like it reaches a bigger audience and bigger audience get the advantage of it Yes, and if you are wondering what are the company names that is getting printed, so these have these companies we have already shared on our channel. You can visit and have a look. You will definitely get benefit out of it. And if you haven't subscribed, us, please do subscribe, like, share, provide the feedback in the comment section. You can share this video to other technical platforms as well, so that it might help someone who is looking out for similar kind of help. And and thank you for watching. Have a great day and all the best.